Uh, hi everyone. Uh, so recently I've been starting to learn some C++ and I've really enjoyed it so far. Um, I'm really not at all advanced with it yet, but um, I'm still able to, you know, kind of make some programs just for fun. And this one in particular is very useless, but I think still is kind of fun to see what you can do with so little code. So we are going to create uh, what we might call a animated desktop background in just four lines of code. Don't get too excited. Uh, but we're going to start with uh, including the in the in out stream. Maybe it's called IO stream by the pros. I don't know. So we're going to include that. Um, you know, I don't think I actually need that semicolon. Um, next, we're going to have our main function. And within that function, <clears throat> we're going to make a for loop. So we're going to say x will start at 1. As long as x is greater than 0, we are going to increase x by 1. You might say, well, that doesn't look quite right. And yes, that's part of the point. And finally, we are going to um, move x to c out, or display x along with the space each time we do that. So this is our program. Whoops, I forgot to add a second call there. My apologies. <clears throat> so uh, let's see what this program does. I uh, have it displayed to an external console. I'm going to start it, and here we go. So this is indeed our program. Uh, we're just posting it out to a, uh, a box here and to a command prompt. And as you can see, it has quite a interesting interface. Um, I like to call it an animated background because, of course, you know, we can put a Word document or something on top of it. And in the back, we just have our lovely code. So uh, it's a little interesting to see what happens when the numbers shift to 100,000. Right now, they're a little jumbled up, but you start seeing a nice pattern. So we'll just kind of wait out there. Um, I've really enjoyed learning C++ so far. I've been using... Um, Programming uh, Principles and Practice by Bjorn Straustrup, and it uh, has its tricky parts, but it's been enjoyable. So now you see as we get to the six-digit numbers, you kind of have this nice pattern where uh, the numbers kind of, it almost looks like they're moving from left to right. Um, and there we go. So there's a background, and we can kind of display it if we want over it. Um, if you want to download the program, I'm not sure why you would. You can find it on GitHub. I'll post a link. Uh, but thank you for watching, and I will hopefully have more useful programs to make in C++ one day. But in the meantime, uh, I have things like this. So thank you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.